guys. Today I'll be doing StarCraft 2. It's a fun game. It's one of the first RTGSs I've ever played, um, other than Warcraft. But um, it's always a fun one to play. And if you've never played it, I'd say pick it up and play it. It's very enjoyable. The main thing is there's three different races. So pretty much any game you've seen now is pretty much copied from this style like Destiny. Every time I play Destiny I'm like this is like StarCraft. You got the three different races fighting against each other. Um, the thing that makes this game wonderful is the campaign mode. The campaign mode has always been great even for one. If you played StarCraft 1 the campaign's good. StarCraft 2 that, that's really what makes this game. Um, games nowadays they are extremely focused on multiplayer competitiveness and never being able to just play a game by yourself and sometimes it's just fun to play a game by yourself so this game is cool in the fact that you do have hours and hours and hours of single player mode and you have unlimited hours of multiplayer mode and this game is fun because it also has train training sections where you can go and if you're scared to play against real life people they have training simulations where it's, it specifically tells you do this do this oh this character isn't moving move them do this and, and it really gets you into that mindset of how to micromanage and how to get the best time and resources out of the game and this game I haven't played in decades um, I, probably 15 years at least um, so I, I picked it up started playing and I'm pleased to say that not only is it still amazing but there's so many upgrades I, I can see there's some patches I haven't even purchased yet uh, and expansions and whatnot so I'll, I'll probably have fun with those um, but I'm seeing that there's still tournaments that are updated they did there's one going on now that's gonna be ending soon so they keep it current and that's amazing for a game that's older than 10 years um, so it really is you get your money's worth that's for dang sure even if you have to buy three different expansions to unlock them all you I would say you still get your money's worth um, they like I said the campaign is is a huge plus to me I'm, I'm starting to get annoyed by the games that are co-op only or competitive only and you just can't there, there's no story to it anymore there's it seems to me like it's the same exact game like with Fortnite and Overwatch and all that. It just seems like it's, here's the game that everybody's played before. We're not going to add too much story. We're just going to add a little bit so you can get the idea of it. And then we're going to sell it as a full game. It's essentially just reskins. Even though it's a completely different world, completely different characters, and completely different weapons. It's all just reskins. At least you can make a good story of it but games just aren't doing that anymore so this is wonderful um, the other thing that's amazing is custom maps you you can create your own map there's a map editor you can go in and make whatever you want and if you're good in programming you can literally make whatever you want I played games where it's literally like Pokemon you run in and you're a character and you kill monsters and you get monsters to follow you and it it's limitless to what you can do it's insane and also another thing I've noticed that they've added um, before they had trophies and achievement points but now they they have a whole, whole lot of them and you just hours and hours and hours again hours and hours of things if you can unlock skins for your actual UI as well not only the characters not only can you change the colors of the characters add icons to the characters um, you have a profile icon and maps, and it, it's just insanely editable, customizable. There we go. It's insanely customizable, and they they show you flat out how to unlock it. So it's not like, well, what do I need to do? What do I need to do? Um, so, so it really is <laughs> really amazing. Um, the only thing I could say that would probably beat this is the Warcraft 3 remake. And that was about the only good thing that came from BlizzCon, if you ask me. Um, but that will be amazing. Um, and the, the charts are fun in the game. When you beat a game, you can see the charts. You can see exactly how you 
compare with other people. So even if you're playing online and you just get annihilated, uh, you can say, okay, what did I do wrong? You can go to the, bat the person you were playing against and you can say, okay, by this time he had 12 miners and why did I only have two? Um, I, I might need to start spending more money on mines and not upgrading weapons. And you can say, okay, most people go crazy on resources first and then switch to units and then switch to upgrades when, when you might just be saving all your resources for upgrades and then be dead by that time. So, so it really is cool. You can grow by, by yourself. You don't have to have someone from an elite team say, hey, this is what you do. When I played StarCraft 1, I remember joining communities where they would watch me play, and as I was playing, they said, why is, why is that SCV just sitting there? Why is he just sitting there? Move him. Move him. If you don't move him, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kill him. And, and I learned that way. I learned the hard way. People would attack you relentlessly, but, but on this one, the computer can rel relentlessly attack you if you wanted to. In the training mode, it gets pretty difficult. Or you could just do the casual, hey, there's a message saying move your SCV, move him. He's, he's being inefficient. So that's cool. Um, I can also tell that the balance changes over the years. Um, the first thing I really noticed was with Protoss, I remember making the gateway and instantly blinking in spiders, but now I realize that there's like a 16 second time, it's not instant anymore. So. <laughs> It will be interesting to get back into it because I can tell that the mechanics have changed and there are balance changes. Um, for better or for worse, I don't know until I just start playing again, but I I'm excited to start playing it again. Um, yeah, and other than that, that's my review. I would highly say play it. Whether you like playing games by yourself, whether you like playing with other people, or whether you like being competitive, there's there's everything in there if you like this type of game and even if you don't like this type of game the custom maps like I said are so unlimited that if you don't like fighting games like that you can do a custom map where it's like an RPG you walk by you kill monsters get level ups get equipment the, the maps are crazy what they make out there um, but that's that's it for my review I highly recommend it um, even though this is for StarCraft 2, I highly recommend playing StarCraft 1 Remastered 2. They're, they're both amazing games. And thank you guys for watching, and if you enjoyed, hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you.